Hello everybody! In this video, we're gonna talk about genes. Specifically, the inseam of your genes. Let's say you are in the hunt for a sewing machine. It's that time of the year. School's about to start. And you want something that could hem jeans and do this little projects. So what I have here are uh, two different common types of inseams for jeans. This is called a felled uh, seam. So the, in the old days, this is what they used before the invention of serger or overlocker. It's very secure. So I don't have to teach you how to do this. I, I want, I'm just going to show you that uh, the thickness of this. This is actually overlapping. That's one of the uh, classic ways to seam your jeans. This is the newer shortcut version, which is probably what you will see on kids clothing, non-working jeans, mostly ladies jeans are uh, finished with a serger. It's just an overlocker, four thread overlocker. The and thickness of the seam will determine if your uh, machine can tackle hemming the jeans. So this is the felt seam that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to fold this like that. I'm going to try to run this through the sewing machine. Same thing with the serger finished. I'm going to fold it like that. And we're going to go to the sewing machine and find out how this brother sewing machine can tackle this type of thickness. What I'm doing right now, I'm hemming the light duty denim first. And I'm very slow because you have to take this machine gently. This You cannot challenge this machine. It, um, it You need to baby this machine, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, it's gonna go over the hem. It made a little sound. But it went through. This is the result. Now let's do the other one. Now I'm sewing the heavy duty denim with a felled seam. Look, it's about to hit the bump. It's struggling. Watch. It's. I'm just babying it right now. <laughs> I'm gonna guide the machine so it can go through the hump. And it's nothing to do with um, using a device to uh, help you jump over the hump. It's just the machine has a little power. It is a weak motor, and it doesn't have a lot of torque power. Also. So I'm gonna try to uh, finish this same heap. You see if the machine can finish really do this. No, it's struggling. So this is why I'm using uh, making this video is I want to show you guys that um, not all sewing machines are the same, um, especially these computerized um, cheap sewing machines under two hundred dollars. I mean, uh, you gotta be really careful on what you can sew with these machines. No, oh, it won't. Let's try a different stitch. Maybe a zigzag. Even worse, probably. Let's do a zigzag. It won't do it. Alright, so there you go. Let's remove this. So a heavy duty work jeans for uh, mostly guys jeans will not be able to tackle your heavy duty work pants if you try to hem it. Because we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six layers here. Remember this is the uh, felt seam that I was talking about earlier. 
So yeah, six layers of this machine. No, let's just move over here. Just to know me, this is what I recommend for most people. One amp, basic, non computerized you know me. And so now I'm gonna uh, finish this seam that the brother computerized machine couldn't finish and I'm using this new home Janome mechanical non-computerized basic did you see how it powers through this denim because this Janome has good torque power so I hope you learned something about this video that, uh, you know, not all sewing machines are the same. Okay, and thank you for listening and I'll see you in my next video.